morning. So today we are going to introduce ourselves. My name is Rafis. My name is Kelvin, and we want to present a video about video explosive. Naturalist, intelligent people with naturalist intelligence have a sensitive sensitivity to and appreciation for nature. They are good at intrapersonal intelligence. People with intrapersonal intelligence are adept at looking in inward and figuring out their own feeling, motivation, and goal. They are good at turn. People with musical intelligence recognize sound and those with easier carving. Music is good at memorizing songs. The work for this intelligence are music teacher and singer. Interpersonal intelligence. People with interpersonal intelligence thrive with social interaction. They are good at teaching others and also consult others. Intelligence are a theory that deals with an individual ability to understand both spoken and written language, as well as their ability to speak and write themselves. Work for linguistic intelligence is Hoss and Arthur. Mathematical intelligence are a people with logical intelligence process information through logic and reason. Work for this intelligence are math teacher or scientist. Finally, kinesthetic intelligence is people with kinesthetic intelligence learn through movement and experiment. They enjoy sport and activities that require physical exercise and mastery. Some kinesthetic people enjoy the artistic side of movement. Intelligence is an area in the theory of multiple intelligence that deals with spatial judgment and the ability to visualize the mind's eye. When you are studying, do you prefer being outdoors or indoors? And why? I prefer being studying indoors because I don't like to get bothered. When you are studying, do you prefer being in, in a silent or crowded environment? And why? I prefer silent because I can talk to people. When you are studying, ah, yes. when you are studying, do you prefer being in a silent or crowded environment? And why? I prefer silent and environment because it helps me to be both. When you are studying, do you prefer studying alone or in a group? And why? I prefer alone because it can be more focused. When you are studying, do you prefer studying alone or with the help of a preferred teacher or parents? And why? I prefer alone because I can be free. What action do you usually do? When there are exams coming up, I usually study in my room. Where do you usually study for exams? Where do you think that place? Mm -hmm. At my room. Because I know that it's easy and comfortable. Where do you use? When you are studying, do you prefer to be outdoor or indoors and why? Indoors, When you are studying, do you prefer to be in the salad or not in the salad and why? Because I don't really like it. When you are studying, do you prefer studying alone or in
what do you prefer? Starting long before the X7A or starting the night before the X7A and why? Starting long before the X7A because I want to see the Do you think that it is important for this? I think for the national exam, did you prefer being a silent or crowded environment? Why? Uh, I prefer silent environment because uh, it makes you more fo focused when you are studying. When you are studying for the national exam, did you prefer studying alone or in a group? Why? Uh, studying in a group because uh, maybe there must be someone who, who will teach you or Maybe there will be someone who will work better than you. When you were studying for the national exam, did you prefer studying alone with the help of the teacher or parents? Why? Uh, with teacher. I prefer with teacher because they are smarter. They are smarter. They are smarter. What action did you do when the national examination came up? Uh, I do nothing. When you were in the 9th grade, where did you start the Ford National Exam? What did you pick that place? Uh, I study at home because it's a lot easier to study at home. When you were in 9th grade, when did you study for the National Exam? Where did you pick the, the time of today? Uh, I picked uh, the day before exam. When you were studying for the national exam, did you prefer being outdoor or indoor? Why? Outdoor. Because we can see around us. Which one was easier for you to memory based national exam or calculation based national exam? Why? I think uh, it's easier for me if it's memory based national exam because I'm better at memorizing things than calculation -y things. Which one did you prefer, studying long before the National SM Day or studying the night before the National SM Day? Why? I prefer studying long before the National SM Day because National Exam uh, consists of a lot of materials that you should study long before it. Do you think studying is important? What is or are the reasons? I think studying is important because it will be helpful for your high school university and your future as well. Thank you. On 2006, the minimum score must be more than 4.25 for each lesson with the minimum average score was 450. On 2007, where there was no remedial, the student who could not pass the exam should take Ujian pa packet A, B, C, the special final exam with some regulation to continue the study. On 2009, the standard passing grade was changed. The minimum average score should not be less than 5.50 for UN lesson. In 2010, if the student wanted to pass UN in this year, they should reach minimum 5.50 for the average score. On 2001 and, 2000 and 2012, the minimum average score was still the same in the 2010. There was five packets for the test. The student in class could get the different packets of the test. 2013 and 2014. The curriculum issues, issues, there were many pros and cons of changing curriculum in K-13, curriculum 2013. There was also an issue that UN will be removed in 2015 up to now. The government has def developed UN system into CBD computer-based test. National exam in Indonesia, which is abbreviated as UN or UNAS, is a student national assessment before the graduation for primary and secondary education. The lesson for UN are Indonesia like math, bahasa, English, and some other science. On 1850 until 1865, in this period, the examination was called as Ujian Menghabisan, the final of examination. All the students had to write manually their answer of the test because it was a side test. It was need many sheets of paper to answer the question. On 1965 from 
1871, the national exam in this period was famous as Ujian Negara, country examination. The schedule and the place of examination were determined by the central government. And on 1972 and 1979, the central government during this period arranged the direction of national exam generally. They also determined the result of exam by themselves. And on 1980 until 2001, in decision, the name of examination was abbreviated as Eptanas or Evaluasi Blajar. The last stage of national study evaluation and the passing grade was counted from the average of lesson that were taste in Eptanas. The average of the score must not be less than 3. It was no problem for the student in several lessons as long as the average of the Eptana score was more than 3. On 2002 until 2004, in this era, the name of examination was UAN, which was the abbreviation of Ujian Aki National replaced Eptanas in UAN 2002. The passing score was determined by each lesson individually. National exam in Indonesia, which is abbreviated as UN or UNAS, is a student national assessment before the graduation for primary and secondary education. The lessons for UN are Indonesia like math, Bahasa, English, and some other science. On 1850 until 1865, in this period, the examination was called as Ujian Menghabisan, the final of examination. All the students had to write manually the answer of the test because it was a side test, it was need many sheets of paper to answer the question. On 1965 from 1971, the national exam in this period was famous as Ujian Negara, country examination. The schedule and the place of examination were determined by the central government. And on 1972 and 1979, the central government during this period arranged the direction of national exam generally. They also determined the result of exam by themselves. And on 1980 until 2001, in decision, the name of examination was abbreviated as Eptanas or Evaluasi Blajar. The last stage of national study evaluation and the passing grade was counted from the average of lesson that were taste in Eptanas. The average of the score must not be less than 3. It was no problem for the student in several lessons, as long as the average of the Rosanna score was more than 3. On 2002 until 2004, in this era, the name of examination was UAN, which was the abbreviation of Ujian Aki National replaced Eptanas in UAN 2002. The passing score was determined by each lesson individually. National exam in Indonesia, which is abbreviated as UN or UNAS is a student national